Graduate Research Month is underway at the University of Otago as the institution celebrates the work of its postgraduates. 39 Danita News is hosting four of the city's young academics to find out just what that work is. The first is Jade Aikman Dodd, who's doing a Masters in Social Anthropology. Good evening, Jade. Kia ora. Now, for viewers who don't know, do explain what is social anthropology? Very simply, social anthropology is the study of people and culture, which arose out of an interest about how other people live their lives. Mm. Now tell us what's, what's involved in gaining a master's degree. I would instantly like to say copious amounts of caffeine but other than that if you have done what's called an honours degree it generally takes one year otherwise it can take up to two. Uh, now exactly what's involved is about a 40,000 word thesis. Wow. Now your master's looks at the relevance of Mariah in the 21st century. Why did you choose that subject? I grew up estranged from my marae and I've always been interested in how marae operate. Marae as reflections of communities because at essence they are communities. I'm interested in how they are focusing and I suppose are recovering from issues that are present today in today's community and society. Now how have you done your research and collected the data that you need? The main method I've used is just interviewing, just talking like this with family members, with friends and the marae that I focused on which was up north in the eastern Bay of Plenty. And tell us what you're finding in your research so far. As I said, the main issues that I have found in the main amazing reflections is that marae as communities reflect the issues that are widespread throughout our whole society, right from our tribulations and trials to our triumphs. So being able to see that is quite a uh, fascinating insight into how our society is currently functioning and also how important it is to understand that community is really important, especially at this time in, I suppose, where we are as a country. Is there any one particular issue that was, was really noticeable? I definitely noticed the amounts of poverty in various senses, spiritually, physically, poverty of money, poverty of lack of family awareness and family obligation. Now, when you split the family unit, which is occurring unfortunately, things can go very badly for us. But I saw hope, which was amazing to see, and I hope that that grows as a small seed, but hopefully it grows very fruitfully in the future. Now you have a BA and some other qualifications. Yes. Tell us about those. I initially started with uh, a degree in law and a degree in Māori studies. I I think both degrees taught me a lot of skills, particularly how to write, how to speak clearly, how to uh, communicate with others who perhaps have little understanding of what you're studying. Uh, and also, as I said, being able to think critically about issues is a gift that I have been so fortunate to have received from university. And what are your thoughts on where your career might take you? A very good question. I'm not entirely sure at the moment. I would like to think that in the future I am able to offer a perspective for uh, affecting um, <coughs> government policy, I suppose, at the main uh, core of it, because I think if policy can be adequately communicated to the issues that we are uh, seeing today, then that's how the grassroots levels can really have an impact. Postgraduate student Jake Aikman-Dodd, good luck with the rest of your Masters. Thanks Thank very, you much very much for your time. Much appreciated.